Hello, I'm Reza Rad, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple trick to add the total into your column chart, stacked column chart. By default, stacked column chart doesn't show you the total, so I'm going to show you a very simple trick how to enable that. Let's see how it works. As you can see here, I have uh, my AdventureWorks data model. If you want to access this data model, use the link down below to my blog article and you can download AdventureWorks dataset. I have two tables, customer table uh, and fact internet sales table. They are related through the customer key. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just to show you how a simple uh, column chart look like. So I'll bring sales amount here and I slice and dice that by education, English education from dim customer. So it shows me sales for every education category. Now let's say I want to slice and dice this by gender also. So I bring gender, uh, the default is always uh, clustered column chart. I change it to stacked column chart. Let me zoom in here. So I change it to this chart, which is a stacked column chart and that will give me stacked column chart. Uh, and uh, when I go to data label, uh, when I go to format, I can enable data labels. It will show me the labels for each. So it will show me, for example, in higher school, I have 2.2 million revenue from female category, 2.5 from male category, but it doesn't show me the total. Under data labels, there is no uh, section to show the totals, as you see. Um, it just shows the total. Uh, it just shows the value for each section. So what I can do instead, as a trick, is to do it this way. I change this chart from that chart to be a stacked column chart, but with line chart. In Excel, we call these combo charts. In here, we call it stacked column chart and line chart, or line and stacked column chart. Uh, so I select that. Still, I get the same thing, uh, no difference yet. But what I do is I bring the same sales amount value, this time also to the line value. So I'm actually showing uh, same value in the column and in the line, right? Same measure in the column and in the line. And now you can see the totals are available on top of every column. So it shows that in this column, the total is 4.6 million. Now, if you like the line to be there, that's fine. This is your solution. But if you don't like the line to be there, what you can do is you can go to the format uh, and under shapes, expand the shapes area. And this is the place that you can change the struct width. If you change that to zero, it will not show you that line. So then you will see these labels. You can also do some other things, like you can show the marker. In that case, you'll see the marker with the label, and that marker can have different shapes. You can change it to be uh, like totally different kind of shapes. I can change it to be something like this. I can even change the marker color uh, or marker size. So there are ways that you can make this uh, totally different. But uh, here you go, that's the solution. So uh, we changed the stacked column chart to line on a stacked column chart, showed the same measure in the line value, then went to the format and removed the shape and the line with changing the struct width to zero and also added a marker. That's a simple solution to get the total on the stacked column chart. If you like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check out all other Power BI and AI uh, videos that we have in our channel. Thank you.